Greetings everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Atari ST computer that I have here. This is an Atari ST1040 STFM, or sorry, STF. Sorry, not the STFM. STFM has the RF modulator. This one does not, unfortunately, as you can tell by the lovely little tag over here. Anywho, uh, this computer, uh, I'm not going to do a full history on the computer. Uh, it seems that most folks tend to do that, but I also have a presentation as well. If you head on over to this website, https decafbad.net slash projects, I have a presentation available, which I will show you over here. Uh, it's called the History of Atari ST. That goes into further depth on what all was involved with making the Atari ST. Hopefully that will keep some focus. But anyways, I just wanted to talk real quick about uh, some of the restoration that I've been doing for this computer. Uh, first thing that I've been doing is I replace the floppy drive on this because unfortunately the floppy drive that came with it was a little bit wonky uh, to use a technical term so the first thing that I did uh, with this is get the GoTech drive which I got from Retro Paradise and as you can see here it's got the little thing that says it's booting it's using a program called Flash Floppy File Selector so these are all the floppies that are on this particular thing and I'll head on over to here, you can use keyboard controls, uh, which is nice, as opposed to most of these things where you don't necessarily have keyboard controls and you have to deal with the wonderfulness of the, uh, the computer itself, or the, the little uh, buttons uh, that are on there. So I'm going to select a blank floppy drive image for the time being, and I will then reboot the machine. In fact, I can probably just do this. Uh, the wonders of live. Isn't it great? Hit F7 on the keyboard something like that saving and rebooting so you'll notice the floppy light is lighting and there we go uh, because this is an STF I do not have the color uh, version of the cable which you can get uh, I picked up uh, this particular one as well which is the color version and that is from uh, folks over at HerculesWorkshop.com uh, they have the monochrome version for the STF and the uh, color version, which has all the wonderful little pins and whatnot on there, uh, for the STFM. So if you have an STFM, head on over to these folks and uh, give them your custom. There are other cult, uh, cables as well, which I did not pick up. I think one is over at Best Electronics, um, if I'm remembering properly, one of those places. Anyways, um, it was a little more difficult than just trying to go onto the site. Anyways, I also have on here a PS2 mouse as you can see with the PS2 mouse adapter uh, which is using an extension cable uh, hopefully uh, from the Brewing Academy this computer also is uh, from the Brewing Academy as well and as you'll note it's got a lovely little wise uh, mouse uh, which is not standard with the Atari uh, but yeah this is uh, your pretty basic standard uh, Atari uh, at the moment it's got the 1985 BIOS on here funnily enough uh, the original versions of the Atari 520 ST which is the 512 megabyte version of this machine as opposed to the one megabyte version of this particular machine uh, had their BIOS in disk format so that you had to actually go on and uh, it had a little bootloader on there and you had to provide it its uh, BIOS because unfortunately the machine was not quite ready uh, when it was ready to be released Anywho, let me uh, head back on over here, and I'm going to show you another fun little thing as soon as the focus happens. Uh, let me pop back on over here, and I will hopefully not occlude what it is that I am doing here, but I'm going to try and get to... Uh, da, da, da. Why am I occluding this? Anyways, and then over here, I think it's the first one on here. Auto boot, there we go. Back on over to AutoBoot, do a restart. I want to, want to show you is one of the cool things about the Atari ST, and that cool thing is a program called Emutos. And if you're not familiar with Emutos, it is a clean room re-implementation of the Atari TOS, uh, which is the operating system or Tremail operating system, depending on your preference. And uh, what's fascinating about this is that it was uh, basically, the gem sources were GPL'd. So, if you head on over to their website, which is emutos.sourceforge.io, I believe, 
or ubuntu.source.net, we'll probably also get you there as well. You have a GPL version of TOS on here. You have your desktop information, which of course I am unable to click on. There we go. So here we have it, EMUTOS version 1.1.1, uh, which is very cool. Uh, based on the GPL sources from D Digital Research, Caldera Thin Clients Incorporated, and Linneo. Uh, so thank you so much, folks, for being uh, so, so forward-thinking back in the 2000s. If you want to learn more about the Atari ST, uh, there are many different books as well. Uh, there's the Faster and Light, the Atari ST and the 16-Bit Revolution by Jamie Lindino. Uh, it comes from a perspective of someone who was an enthusiast at the time, and so it, uh, it has a lot of that thread uh, working through it. Uh, there's also uh, other books as well. Uh, the Atari was not lacking for programming documentation. Funnily enough, this is from Abacus, which was based out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, which I wish I would have known at the time, because unfortunately I did not have an Atari ST back in the day, and I think it might have been helpful as well. There are many different languages as well for the Atari. Uh, you have Cambridge Lisp up here, uh, Personal Pascal. Uh, there was an Atari ST Basic and Logo that shipped with the Atari. And also uh, various C compilers as well were available for the machine, am amongst other things like Modula 2, GFA Basic. I mean, the list goes on and on. Anyways, so uh, check that out. And also, if you want to pick up the disk drive that I have, uh, the company for that is coming to focus, retropassion.co.uk. Um, what's nice about this is that it was a full-on version of that. Uh, basically, if you head over to the site, it's a whole bracket system, uh, so it's printed and ready to go. Uh, so all you need to do is just drop it in there. Uh, you don't even have to flip cables, which is nice, not having to flip cables. And uh, it works a treat, and uh, as you can, I can no doubt demonstrate to you. Uh, of course, no demonstration of the Atari ST is complete without a little bit of gaming. And I do have one game that I legally own that I'm going to grab here real quick. Ogre. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's a legal copy of Ogre. Uh, it even comes with the little badge as well and the little dots that say, you know, if it turns red. Um, oh, dear. Okay. Uh, well, if it turns red, apparently it's radiation. Um, bad thing. So don't do that. Um, but yeah, it's got a little badge and all that other kind of stuff in there. Little disc in there. Hello, disky. Uh, fortunately, again, I don't have to worry about the disc because this is emulated on here. There's an image for it. Let me double click, double to click. A little focus, focusing again. Ogre. I don't have it set up for sound quite yet. And because this is monochrome, the number of games that I can run on this thing is um, extremely limited, unfortunately. But uh, this is one of those ones that does work on the machine. So, yes. Uh, imagine wonderful sound coming out of this as well. And there you go. You have your, your little ogre and whatnot. And I can spend the whole time setting this up. But the fun part about all of this stuff, and the part that I would like to uh, leave you with, is that you can run all of this stuff on your own machine at home. And how you would do that is via uh, an emulator. And one of the emulators that you can use is called Hatari. And Hatari is, uh, this one is, is running Emutos as well. So if I go ahead and run over here, we got Emutos 1.1.1. And Emutos will allow you to run all the various programs as well. It also has hard drive support. So, hey, focus there. Dang you, focus. Uh, let's bring this up and let's see if it focuses better. There we go. So yeah, it's focusing a little bit better. And of course you can see that I've been all over the internet looking for stuff uh, for the various Atari machines and such. But yeah, this is, uh, this is an incredibly cool system, and I hope you check it out. You can learn more over at hatari.sourceforge.net or an emutos.sourceforge.net. I think Hatari might ship with a version of emutos. If not, um, you can definitely check it out over there. And uh, so thank you so much. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your 68,000 uh, celebration, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.